Here is a really, really, really stupid policy that we had for decades in this country about a really important subject. Whether or not, whether you like the goal of this policy or you hate the goal of this policy, the issue here is that this was just a really, really stupid way to try to do it. Here's what it looked like. See if you can identify the stupidity here. The federal government wanted to give loans to students to help them pay to go to college. That's the big bag of money there. And we gave out that money for the students by giving the money to the banks. The government said to the banks, you loan money to students and we promise that you will get the money back. Even if the students don't pay you back, we will cover it. That money is guaranteed. So then the banks, not the government, loaned out the money to the students. But there was no risk to the banks at all. The government guaranteed that they would get paid back. So the government put up the money for your loan, and when you as a student paid it back, the bank got to keep the interest that you paid them, unless you defaulted and you didn't pay, in which case the bank got paid anyway. Government paid them for that too. It was the best scam ever. Seriously, that makes me want to be a bank. I mean, corporations are people, right? Like, that's the corporation I want to be. The bank gets paid no matter what for providing nothing. The government is providing the loan. The bank is just being given a guaranteed profit at no risk to pretend like it's their loan when it's not. It's not their money. It's not their risk. They just get paid to be there for no reason. What a freaking scam. We wasted tens of billions of dollars every decade doing it this way for a long time, just shoveling taxpayer money to the banks for nothing, for doing nothing. That is how we did it for decades until we stopped doing that. We stopped doing that in 2010. President Obama changed the law in 2010. He got rid of this inane system where the banks were a pointless middleman saving the taxpayer $60 billion over a decade. The majority of that money saved, they put into direct aid to students to pay for college. Just Pell Grants, no middleman. It's better for everybody. Better for taxpayers, better for the students, better for everybody. Better for everybody but the banks. Do you want to know what the Mitt Romney campaign proposal is on college costs? Want to say it with me? They would like to please bring back the old system. The Boston Globe did a long piece on Mr. Romney's proposal this week, talking to education experts about it. Even the right-wing education experts they could find to talk to about it said it was ridiculous. Literally, that is a quote from one education expert who said he is a Republican voter who is likely to vote for Mr. Romney for other reasons. But, quote, on this issue, Romney is just ridiculous. His campaign staff doesn't have any new ideas, so they said, let's just go back to what we were doing before the Obama administration came into place. Quoting the same expert, what's in it for students or taxpayers? Nothing. Another conservative education expert at the Cato Institute says Mitt Romney's plan would offer no help to students, but, quote, obviously it would have an effect for banks and lenders who would be happy to go back to that. It was a great gig for them. If big national elections in America were fought on the basis of who was looking out for the middle class, who was looking out for the American dream of getting ahead by working hard, American dream that, you know, you can get a college education if you are smart enough and you work hard enough. If big national elections in America turned on issues like that, this dumb student loan thing would be exhibit A in every contrast story about what the two candidates are offering. It is not. At least it's not yet. But James Carville, the political strategist who got Bill Clinton elected president, has a plan. And things like the stupidity of the old student loan system figure prominently in that plan. James Carville joins us for the interview right here next. 